Welcome to part 8 of my Kingdom Hearts playthrough. So, let's open this chest finally. And what do we get? Oh, we get a pretty stone. Something to look at at night when we're feeling sad. Uh, I'm sure it has its use. Or uses. Depends. Ooh, another chest. Chests are always fun to open. Let's see what's in this one. Potion. Now that is something that is useful at the current moment, at least. Alright, let's just uh, get move our way through this uh, house. Oh yeah, this is annoying. If you're pushing up as you go in, you're just gonna keep pulling up because that's how you expect to keep going. But no, it points this way, so you gotta press down. And so I mean, if you're not paying attention, you could probably spend hours going in a circle through that house, so that through those doors. And through that door, actually, not even two doors, but whatever. All right, so what now? How about we go to the hotel? Oh, we barely missed Donald and Goofy once again. This part was really aggravating the first time I played it because, like I said, the main reason I got this game was because of the Disney characters. And so not being able to run into the Disney characters was really getting on my nerves. But, uh, yeah, just be, if you're like me and that's why you're playing, just be patient. Because once they do run into you, Quite literally, actually, kind of. But once you meet them, it, the game becomes much, much better. Damn, this them just a by a pit again. They're just looking for Leon. When really they should be looking for me. It gets my shot. This place is a weird place. So let's get out of here. Makes me feel all weird. So yes, there's this busted ladder out here that's useless for the current moment. But later it's fixed, but it's not in the same spot, if I remember right. So it's kind of weird. Alright, again, it's kind of fuzzy on where to go and everything, so, uh... I, uh, go to third district for a little bit, but you don't really need to. And you can't get to the first district from the third district at the current moment. So you kind of have to make a circle all the way back, and it was really annoying. So yes, don't go to the third district yet. Don't be like me. Ooh, they're all in the same spot. That was a nice, easy leveling up kill thing, streak. I don't know. I'm tired. It's 1.50 in the morning. I don't know why I'm still doing this, but... Uh, I guess I really like doing playthroughs. Yeah, but here's what I figured my new schedule will be for recording stuff. I'll make it a little more interesting for myself. So, tonight will be all Kingdom's heart, Kingdom Hearts. But, the next time I, I will record, which probably won't be till Sunday, uh, then I will... Uh, I'm not sure which one I'll do. I might start my Midnight Club LA playthrough, or work on Rayman or Crash Bandicoot. I'm not sure which one I want to do. You can leave a comment if you want, and I might listen to that. But shh, I might even not get this uploaded by then, so who knows. But yeah. 
can't decide which playthrough I want to do. Of course, I could do this one again, but I want to keep doing different ones over and over again. So let's go back into the accessory shop. And let's talk to Sid. Still haven't found him, blah blah blah. Okay, whatever. So go back out and cue cutscene. So this guy, Squall or Leon, this guy is the guy from Bones. Also from Angel, but that show wasn't really a show I watched. Neither was Bones, but whatever. His name is, uh, I believe, David Boreanaz. <laughs> I don't think so. And that's the gun blade. Because he's very cool. Now here, you can either kill him or die. I don't choose either. I get it chosen for me. In other words, I die. And very quickly, might I add, kind of wasn't very smart on this, but I knew that you could die, so I decided to go ahead and do it. I was careless, but for a reason. No matter what you lose, though, because either you kill him and then you, well, not kill him, beat him up, but then you are too tired and you fall over. So yeah, this is Yuffie the ninja. Oh yeah. It, but anime RPGs are not my type of thing. But like I said, Disney makes this game awesome. So there's nobody here. Sure is spooky. Oh, <laughs> classic humor. And this is Aerith, I do believe. And she's got very weird hair. Uh, sounds like Kyrie. You okay? That does not sound like Hayden Panettiere at all. Yes. Man, this is such a long time ago. That's who it is, by the way. You know, the girl from Heroes. Another great show, by the way. Heroes. Wow, Sora, you are very, very smart. Confuse a black haired ninja with a red haired girl. Wow, you are very pessimistic. And very mean, might I add. Well, I suppose beggars can't be choosers. Why don't you start making sense? What's yes, make sense. Okay. You know there are many other worlds out there besides so the I've heard. town, right? Yeah. Well, they're supposed to be a secret. Goofy, could you be any more moronic? Connected. Hmm. Everything changed. The heartless? The ones who attacked you. Do you remember? Those without hearts. Victor Thanks for clarifying what heartless means. That's what exactly. Within every heart. Hey, have you heard of someone named Ansem? Ansem. Ansem? Now. I don't really want to spoil anything, but, uh, Ansem's the bad guy, and he is a pretty evil dude. I won't spoil everything about him, but, uh, he's pretty, pretty weird. Pretty effed up. Yes, those were my thoughts exactly. We've got to find him, quick! 
So why did he shove the camera down to him? Seems kind of weird. You didn't realize that that was a key? It's shaped like a key. It opens things like a key. It's a key. The keyblade chooses its master, and it chose you. So tough luck. How did all this happen? I remember being in my room and <gasps> wait a minute. What happened to my home? My island? Where it's kind of gone. You know what? I really don't know. All right. So that concludes part eight. See ya.